in Japan, uh, in Tokyo, and we were eating at one of those, uh, it was like a, a Korean barbecue place where you grill your own, or you cook your own meat and stuff. And so at my table, of course, you know, we're cooking our meat, and um, there's a bunch of fatty pieces on there, which I know the fat burns more than, like, the meat does, or the muscle or whatever. And uh, so it started, the flame started getting super high, and, like, there was, like, a napkin covering the lamp. And so I was holding the napkin back, and the flame was huge. And... Uh, and all of a sudden, like, you know, the guys rushed over and they turned it off and, and our table started smoking and smoking and I couldn't breathe. So I went outside and I came back and, you know, like all the, all the Japanese people were laughing at us and like clapping at us because, of course, the Americans are like making the place go up in smoke. So then the fire alarm goes off and everyone starts laughing and we're like, oh, gosh, you know, and we're, I don't know, it's kind of funny. And then all of a sudden the ground starts shaking and there's like... <sighs> And everyone starts freaking out and running out of the building, and there's smoke everywhere. And, like, basically, like, ten fire trucks came, and, like, the entire Tokyo police squad, and, like, ambulances. And it was, like, this massive ordeal. And, of course, it was, I don't know how it, we did it, but somehow it was thanks to us. We felt so bad. Did the, uh, the Twilight Association kick up the whole band a level? Did that did. get weirder? Like, the whole, everything became more fo times ten? It did. Um, it did, and we didn't even we didn't even plan on that. We had no clue. You know, Haley read that series um, and really liked it, and so she's like, "Hey guys, it'd be cool if we did something for a movie. Like they're making this series." And um, she's like, "Awesome!" So we wrote that song, and then next thing we knew, it blew up. You know, worldwide, and um, it definitely magnified everything. And we got a lot bigger, and a lot more people knew us. Um, uh, so it, it we're just really thankful. You know, we kind of went from having our, our you know our kind of fan base that's been with us since day one to having a whole bunch of new people hearing our music, whether it's like kind of old moms or um, like really young girls that are obsessed with Robert Pattinson or whatever. Um, but it's been really, really cool. You know? How much do you get asked about Robert Pattinson these days? A lot. <laughs> do you have a standard a response? Um, I, I've, I've never met him and I don't really know the guy, but he seems like he's a nice guy. I don't really, yeah, I don't really have a very exciting response. He's like the Beatles now. It's weird. Yeah, it's crazy. But apparently he's, apparently he's actually kind of got a, a good head on his shoulders. You know, I've heard that in interviews he's like, you know, girls don't know who I am. They just know my character. And apparently he's really kind of down to earth about it all, which I like. But I don't know if that's true. <laughs>